Guys, in today's video, we are going to be unboxing some new LEGO Marvel CMF Series 2. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Now, let's get into the actual video. All right, guys. So, I managed to go to my local Barnes & Noble and pick up a couple of Marvel CMFs. Um, so, they only allow you a maximum of two, but I managed to get... A hold of six of them which is awesome unfortunately I was not able to get the whole box I was really trying to but they told me no so here we are we have all six of them so let's just go through one by one so this is my first time opening them and honestly the boxes are smaller than I thought um, which is really weird so let's see I have to figure out how to open this so I'm just gonna rip it and let's see what it is okay so this no packaging inside which is crazy I wish they would have put some packaging in there and it looks like we got oh my gosh we got echo that's awesome um, I'll be building these at the end of the video and I'll be showing you them but now let's move on to the next unboxing okay guys so we built echo which I'll be showing you at the end of the video but now let's tear open our next box the boxes are really interesting honestly like I'm not a fan of them I still miss the blind bags but you know it's all right I guess oh cool okay we got storm I'm really looking forward to building her so I'm going to be honest, Storm, as you guys can see over here, is a really awesome minifigure, and I can't wait to show you guys her towards the end of the video. But now we're moving on to pack number three. So halfway through opening these pretty much, let's us see. And it is, bro, are you kidding me? No. Oh, my word. Our first duplicate Storm. That is awesome awful i mean i'm happy to get another storm because i think she's a great minifigure but like already we have a duplicate that's not good all right so after our duplicate we're moving on to pack number four and are you kidding me no another storm guys that's three storms already oh my word what the actual heck Okay, so after another duplicate, we're moving on to pack number five. I swear, if we get another storm, I'm done with this video. I'm telling you guys right now. So let's hope this is not another storm. Please do not be storm. And it... Are you kidding me? Guys, it's Echo. It's Echo again. We already have Echo. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're on to our last box. So this is number six. So, so far, we've gotten... An Echo, a Storm, which is really cool. We've gotten two other Storms and one other Echo. So we've gotten three duplicates already. If this is another duplicate, I'm done. Like, this is better not be another Storm minifigure. And it is, okay, this is actually fine. Oh, my gosh. Like, guys, I hope you guys know that. I did not plan to get duplicates. I just want to let you guys know that. But we got Goliath. So here we are, guys. After opening six boxes, we got duplicates and i'm really disappointed with this because i just spent i mean a little bit of money on getting these you know making this video for you guys and i got a lot of duplicates which was not fun um this is not how i intended the video to go but if you guys are still watching this thanks for sticking around anyway though let's take a look at the minifigures we got <laughs> the first one being storm now storm's actually really cool she does have this fun cloth cape uh with the yellow <laughs> electric bolts which is awesome i mean she's a great minifigure i love this her mohawk is a hard plastic piece um some of the other mohawks we've seen in past sets um are kind of like softer but this is real hard plastic uh, which i like i think it fits her and i just love that cape though how it connects to her arms which is really cool so we did get three of the storms um next up we got two echoes and i really love this echo minifigure i know they gave her um the prosthetic leg which i think is very interesting i think that's a really nice touch though how it's different from her other regular leg um, i really love the arm printing of the minifigure i really love her little accessory she comes with i do not know exactly what it is but i think the printing on her looks really neat um she does you can see her one face expression where she's kind of just has a neutral face expression and then turning it around um you can see where she's kind of angry and upset which i think is pretty interesting overall a really solid minifigure unfortunately we did get two of her so that is an unfortunate part um but our last minifigure which is something interesting and different is goliath um so he does come with a ant-man micro figure which is pretty cool and something that we've seen before he does come with some dual and side leg printing which is awesome some arm printing and i just love his printing all around um you can see his face expression where he's just kind of uh has a smirking slash neutral expression and you turn it around though you can see his angry and upset face um apparently goliath is going to be featured in what if season two so we'll be seeing him i'm assuming later this fall or something like that i just kind of love his helmet um it really reminds me of the ant-man one just different colors as you guys can see here so i'm really interested to see what he does in what if season two and if he plays a big part but other than that though i think these are pretty good minifigures unfortunately we did get a lot of duplicates which again i was not expecting but um, hopefully I'll be able to get some more and 
open some more for you guys and make a whole nother video. So right now we have three of the 12. So um, yeah, so nine more to go. Anyway, though, so what else I picked up from Barnes & Noble today? Because I mean, this is not the video that it turned out to be. Is um, We picked up the Republic uh, Coruscant Guard Gunship, which I'm really looking forward to building. I'll make a review on that uh, really soon for you guys. I think you guys will enjoy looking at that and hearing my honest uh, thoughts and reviews about it. I know there's been a lot of negative feedback about it, so I'm really looking forward to opening up and letting you guys hear my thoughts and opinions about it. If you guys have been following the channel recently and you guys have been subscribed, you probably already saw my review of the Ahsoka Tano's T6 Jedi Shuttle. Uh, it's right over here, so I already have that. I did not pick that up. I just decided to throw it in here, just kind of fit the theme with, you know, the September 1st releases. And then the last set uh, that we picked up for today was the New Republic E-Wing versus Shin Hati Starfighter. So again, I'm really looking forward to building that, and I think it's going to be a pretty nice set. I mean, the ships themselves look amazing, so that's going to be a pretty interesting review. Um, be sure to keep an eye out for that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit different um, than I normally do, and also, I mean, definitely not as expected. I was not expecting to get a lot of duplicates. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video or you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You would help out the channel big time, and honestly, you would make my day. Also, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. Again, I'd really appreciate it, and you would help out the video big time. I know I said that a lot, guys, but it really would mean a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.